month, our crime reporter Natalie Hillary brings us one of the most interesting stories of the year. And what message Red Oak ISD has for those who choose to use illegal drugs. Welcome back, Matt. Thanks, Rachel and Christian. That is right. In one of the most meaningful votes in years, the Red Oak ISD Board of Trustees voted to implement random drug testing for all extracurricular activities beginning in the 2004-2005 school year. The program is being done at several schools across the United States as an incentive for students to stay drug and alcohol free. Many who have worked on this proposal have stated it is also very much an issue of safety. Imagine a student participating in sports, band, drill team cheerleading, or any other extracurricular activity that may cause heart rates to jump. Combine this with an illegal drug in the person's system and you have the recipe for disaster. Doctors have warned that many drugs speed up the heart rate and blood pressure and with the stress put on the body from the activity itself could cause heart attacks, strokes, or even death. While a simple fact is that illegal drug use is just that, illegal, and should not be done by any student, we also know from statistics that many students still use drugs such as marijuana, cocaine, ice, crystal methamphetamines, and others. These drugs alone can cause serious health risks, but again, combined with activity, could be deadly. The policy will call for all students who wish to participate in extracurricular activities to sign along with their parents and notice of random drug testing. Anyone not signing the form will not be permitted to participate in the program. Extracurricular activities are just that, extra, and are not mandated. The programs are a privilege, and thus, in 2002, the United States Supreme Court ruled random drug testing for all extracurricular activities was completely legal. The district in no way is looking to catch or punish those who use drugs with this policy. This policy is to protect the student. To get more on drug testing, we went to Mr. Shutman, who will be the administrator in charge of the testing program next year. I think the main thing we want to accomplish is give, give kids an out, to give them an opportunity to say no when they come across a, an opportunity to use drugs or use something illegal, that they have something they can look back on and say that because I want to participate in extracurricular activities, it's important enough to me, and the fact that I might be drug tested and it might keep me from participating, that that's enough reason to give kids an answer or an opportunity to say no. I, I've talked to several districts who are involved with the drug testing program and every one of them have indicated that this has had a very positive effect on their kids, that it's made a significant impact on them, that it has given them opportunities to stay away from these kinds of things that are detrimental to them. So without question, every district I've talked to that's participated in a drug testing program has had positive results. It is clear that Red Oak ISD has made a stance that our school should be an example to others. That our athletes and others involved in extracurricular activities should be drug free and pure in body and mind when representing our school. While some may not agree with drug testing, it is clear that we all now have one big reason to keep ourselves from doing drugs which can and have ruined many others' lives. Thanks Natalie.